Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In Techno 91, I used a 2.9 inch e paper display to display weather underground data. Here's a 4.2 inch version. Clearly, with the much bigger display, there's much more scope for display of data. Date and time there at the top line. Added now a circle that denotes. Um, maximum minimum expected temperature current temperature wind direction and that took me a lot of maths to draw that pointer a wind direction pointer there probability rain 40 percent it's partly cloudy that's the icon for partly cloudy current air pressure and the trend is downwards as the new chart there denotes three-day forecast showing expected temperature and probability of rain sunrise sunset moonrise moonset phase of the moon uh, i'm in the northern hemisphere but if you're in the southern hemisphere the image would be re reversed this is weather underground's forecast text and uh, as i say i've added two charts now of pressure and temperature history auto scaling and um, it adds about five on the top and bottom of the range so that will obviously vary now here's the unit just about it's currently asleep so taking very little current 150 microamps there it is it's just refreshed times updated pressures updated and scrolled along the chart is uh, 0 to 24 hours and it scrolls from right to left so it's the uh, historic information so in terms of the display uh, very similar to the 2.9 inch version a time of update the location date and time of the reading the expected high and low current temperatures the wind direction is coming from the southeast uh, probability of rain on that chart there it's depicted as zero a, a weather description and um, a weather symbol air pressure rising steady or falling indicator some forecast text pressure charts they can be configured as bar charts or line charts and auto scaling on and off you can call it with the maximum and minimum pressure perhaps 1050 millibars and um, 950 millibars if you switch the units it all switches to imperial or inches and um, miles per hour um, the three-day forecast is the same as before so there's very little change there So overall, that much larger screen real estate allows much more data and there's a lot more data that you can get from Weather Underground. And I put examples in the source code too of how you might extract that data. And then it's your choice as to where you place it on the screen because they're all XY coordinates where they're placed. So the source code's in GitHub and the link's below, G6EJD GitHub repository. Reminder that you need to go to the Credentials tab, enter your own network SSID and password. And if you've got a, um, a network extender, perhaps add in the details for the extender where I put SSID 2 and password 2. Get your free Weather Underground key, enter that into the example place there. Update your location, city and country, or if you're in the USA, it's, it, it would be a city and state. In the main body of the program, there is a, um, a setting for the update time that is currently set for 30 minutes in the source code and then there is another unit for um, units uh, either metric or I for imperial the source code is only 
written for two variable values, m or i. Power consumption I've based on the um, DF robot ESP32 Fire Beetle. It's the lowest power consuming ESP32 board that I've got or found. And those are the values of power consumption that I get on my board and display. And uh, you'll see that you can get very good duration on a using a lipo battery so feeding it in through the lipo connector e-paper displays use a common connection block connector um, it's the spi bus it's pretty much as you'd connect any other spi device sensor or display uh, so the connections are exactly the same as um the those in Techno um, 91 with the 2.9 inch display so you could unplug the 2.9 inch and plug in the 4.2 inch or the smaller ones obviously there's a limit to what you can display on the smaller one or the larger one 7.5 inch displays for example It'll give you even more space so using the 4.2 inch display again gives you that viability of providing all the information you may ever need um, only the ESP32 has sufficient RAM to enable the three simultaneous calls to the weather underground for current weather or conditions as they call it forecast and that what I call lunar data um, all of the icons are drawn so there's no what I call fiddly uh, bitmaps to create and anyone who's trying to do that will know how relatively complicated that is. With the larger screen there's there's even more scope for adding more information, wind speed, wind chill etc. Um, all the libraries are available via the R Arduino IDE Library Manager, so Sketch Manage, uh, and the README on GitHub is the details of how to install all the libraries. And all you need is that free Weather Underground developer API key. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 